Congressman Jim Jordan, Republican from Ohio. Uh, Congressman, I want to talk about this border crisis in a second, but there was some sure. breaking news mm -hmm. this afternoon. Um, uh, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy tweeted out that the, the Democrats had pulled very important funding, funding for Israel, the Iron Dome program. What do you know about it? What do you hear? And what do you think of that? Well, I, I think it's interesting on the day that Joe Biden gives a speech at the U.N. and talks about building back our relationship with our allies. That happens to be the same time that the Democrats in Congress are undermining our best friend and ally, the state of Israel, saying we're not going to we're not going to have this funding for the Iron Dome, which protects their which is a critical part of their security posture there in uh, in that dangerous part of the world. So uh, how can he be building back our relationships with our allies when France pulls their ambassador a couple days ago. Today, the Democrats take out funding for Iron Dome in the appropriations bill. Um, if that's building back our relationship with allies, wow, that's uh, that's pretty crazy. But that again, this is just kind of typical for the Biden administration and the Democrats running uh, the United States yeah, Congress. We, we know how important that was. It's been used time and time again, not only during, it sure during the Iraq war they used it, but it's even more recently, within the last maybe year or so, well, Palestine, the Palestinians were firing rockets in, into Israel, and the Iron Dome system cut off those rockets. My, my, we, I've been to, we, we've been to Israel five times, and this is a young young person in the in the Israeli Defense Force, the IDF, who was there looking at the screen. And when they see a rocket come from Hamas or Hezbollah, they got just a few seconds to decide: is that rocket going to land in the Mediterranean, or is it going to hit a population area in in the in the state of Israel? And they have to decide. And then when they decide to shoot off the rocket, the, the Iron Dome system to take out the the, the 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 terrorist rocket coming in, that is of critical importance to Israel's security. And the idea that the Democrats are going to pull this out of the funding bill, just again. But this is the same Democrats who, who Joe Biden told us it was an extraordinary success when 13 servicemen gave their lives, Americans left behind, allies left behind, and $90 billion of equipment and weapons left behind. And they define that as an extraordinary success. So um, I guess this, again, this is, this is just how radical today's Democrats have become. Additionally, Congressman, um, we sent $64 million to Afghanistan recently. Afga Taliban says that's not enough. We spend somewhere, I believe, in the number, if I'm not mistaken, in the $5 billion of foreign aid at some point. Meanwhile, we're going to spend all that on, on countries that, frankly, hate us. But the one ally we have, our eyes and ears in the Middle East, Israel, we're going to pull Iron Dome funding that they really need and want. Yeah, let's help our friends. One of my colleagues has a great line. He says, we don't need to pay our enemies to hate us. They'll probably do it for yeah. free. So, yeah. you know, like, so let's help our friends. Let's help our allies. And if Joe Biden's serious about the statement he made today in front of the, the, the world at the U.N. Uh, about building back these relationships, uh, I think they were, I mean, think about this. Under President Trump, he promised to put the, like so many presidential candidates, he promised to put the embassy in Jerusalem, and he's the only one who would do it. He did it. He had the Abraham Accords. Contrast that with the actions the Democrats are taking today. That, uh, that is the dis difference. That's the distinction. That's, again, I think that's what the American people see, and it's why Biden numbers are down and why I've said many times I want President Trump to run again. Now, I got an idea. Why don't we spend some of the money that they're trying to save on Iron Dome? If you don't want to give it to Israel, let's put it on our own border. Let's make sure our border is safe, <laughs> safe and secure. How do, you, how do you handle what let's we're seeing? Let's do both. Let's help Israel. Yeah, yeah, why not? Right. No, help, help, help Israel, help secure our border. And, and you know what? Screw the rest of the world, the $5 billion we spent on foreign aid. I mean, you're right. We, we don't have to pay these people to hate us. They'll do it, they'll do it for free. Why do you make sense of what's going on in Del Rio, Texas? You can't. Uh, this is, again, when you, when you take away the policies that worked and you tell the world that basically the border is not there. We have now what, what Secretary Clinton called for five years ago when she talked about a borderless hemisphere. We now have that. The only conclusion anyone with any common sense can reach is this is intentional. This is deliberate. Because I, I've said this probably in every interview, Eric. March was the highest month on record for illegal crossings until April. And then April was the highest month until May. And May was the highest month until June. And June was the highest month until July when 212,000 that single month alone, record. And then what happened in August? Oh, it went all the way down to 208,000. My guess is it went down to 208,000 because we missed people. There were more people came across that we just didn't see because we were busy dealing with the Afghan situation as well when those people are coming here. So that's the pattern. There is no way to interpret all that in any other way except to say 
this has to be deliberate. This has to be deliberate. This, and, and now for them to say, oh, the border is controlled. They're saying that when we, our eyes are showing us pictures right on, on, on your network and others showing they're coming right across. So it's, it's ridiculous, but this is, this is the Democrats and this is the radical left that control that party. The Democrats are saying, don't believe your lying eyes, Congressman Jim Jordan. Yeah, exactly thank, right. Thank you for exactly being here right. with us as always. You bet. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.